Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I filmed a getting ready with me video creating this look today and focusing on creating a very wearable day look using the Natasha Denona bronze eyeshadow palette. It is collab time though. So this is a collab with my sweet, amazing, talented friend, Gabby. If you remember, we did a collab a couple of months back and I created a purple eyeshadow look using the Huda Beauty um, palette. She chose a look for me that I had to recreate. And so that's what I did. I love these collabs with Gabby because I, one, they kind of forced me to kind of challenge myself a little bit. Although the day look is very much in my wheelhouse in my comfort zone. So this didn't take a whole lot of thought. It was very easy for me to come up with this look. So today I'm using, creating the day look with this palette. She's creating an evening or night look. So you'll want to go check out her channel and see what she came up with. And then we're going to flip. So on the 10th, you'll want to come back because I will create a sultry, smoky eye look using the bronze palette. And then she will have a wearable day look. And I'm excited for her wearable day look because we're very different. Like mine that I created today is very, very typical of me. It's very prissy. Um, it's just so much in my comfort zone. So I'm curious to see what her version of the day look is going to look like and see what she comes up with today for her evening look. So this is what we're doing. Um, I will say really quick about this palette. I don't feel like it's a standalone palette. There are a couple of changes that I would make if it were my palette. So first I would include a highlight shade. Holy moly, the sun is going in and out. Um, I don't have a highlight shade in here and I wish we had one. So I had to use my Wet n Wild Brulee shadow. The other thing is I wish there were a little bit more, um, just like one or two deeper shades, like some sort of really, really deep matte, deep bronze kind of color. I don't know, but I feel like there could be one highlight shade and one kind of deeper shade because the shade that I use in the outer corner is always magma. I'm trying a new blush today as well. So you'll get to see me try that. And that's it. We're going to go ahead and jump right into it. I will link Gabby's channel down below. If there is a way for me to link it somewhere here, um, I will add a card. I don't know how to do that, you guys. If I can figure out how to add a card, I will add a card to my last video in my collab with her. And then I will also take you over to her channel. But again, I don't know how to do that. We'll try to figure it out. If not, all of those links will be down below. So let's just go ahead and get right into the look. All right, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I have already washed and moisturized my face. So we are gonna jump right into foundation. As I've told you before, I don't always use primer, so I'm not gonna use primer today. For foundation, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. This is in the shade four neutral. So we are pulling this baby out today. Just pumping a few drops into my hand and then I'm just going to spread it onto my face. Holy moly, I used too much. I should have used one pump. I haven't used this foundation in such a long time. Um, it's actually been a few months since I've used this. Oh yeah. And I used way too much. I guess I forgot how a little bit goes such a long way. So I'll definitely have to go in with a sponge. Foundation is done. Damn, that looks good. So for concealer, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium. This is still one of my favorite concealers. Um, I love this concealer. Okay, so I like, I've said this before, but I'm going to say it again. I like to work in increments. So once my foundation and concealer is set, I like, or applied, I like to go ahead and just let it sit, let everything just kind of melt into the skin and let it do its thing. So I never, ever, ever go in right away with powder. I just don't. So at this point I do my brows and then I come back and I start to do all the, the rest of this stuff. So I'm going to do brows off camera and then I will be right back. I went way too heavy, way too heavy on the brows today. I hate when I do that. I did this one perfectly fine and then I went in with this one and I was in the middle of texting my husband, doing my brows, and I just like, I was stopping going. The pressure was different. So 
Ni modo, that's what we do. We just move on. Okay, so I'm gonna darken up my little birthmark here because it tends to go away with um, foundation. So I'm just gonna bring it back to life. So I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Contour Stick in Where's Walnut, shade 806. This is my favorite bronzing stick. Um, I just love it so much. It blends out really well. I like the size. All right, bronzer is, or cream bronzer is done. I feel like I'm so close to the camera. Let's move on to powder bronzer. I'm gonna use the NARS Laguna. As you guys know, I love NARS Laguna, but I haven't used it in a while. I sometimes get stuck in a rut, and I've been in a little bit of a bronzer rut because I've been using the e.l.f. a lot. I'm gonna bring that, th bring that down just a little bit because I do have a lot of forehead space here. Got a ton of forehead space. I'm gonna try something different. I'm going to put highlighter on first, and then I'm gonna go in with blush. So let's let's try that little method here. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna use the same brush. So I'm gonna go in with my blush brush from It Cosmetics, and I'm just using the Dior Amber Diamond, which is super old it's probably like i don't know it's probably like one of the oldest products i have we're gonna go in with nars orgasm x so for comparison purposes here's orgasm and here's orgasm x so there are the two side by side Ooh. oh Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty, y'all. That's pretty. That is a really, really beautiful blush. Very, very pretty. I'm so glad I got it. I'm gonna use the Hourglass Translucent Veil Powder. Holy moly, I love this powder for under the eyes. This is a Cosette brush, if anybody is wondering. This is the only Cosette brush that I have, whoops. But it is, I mean, it's really nice. Okay, now I'm gonna use the Cody Airspun in Translucent to set the rest of my face. So, um, and I'm just gonna use a little puff that's in there. I've said this before. I oddly very much like the smell of this powder. It is very, um, like very grandma-like. And I don't know, I, I just love it. It's, it just reminds me of like when I first started to love makeup, you know, like when I was little, it reminds me of like my mom's makeup. I'm not saying my mom used this, but it just reminds me of like old makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the shade Beach and put that in my crease first. I'm actually going to put my Sephora tape on there. So let me grab that and do that. Gabby's got me hooked on this damn tape now. So there we go. Yes, one piece is longer than the other because I'm so, I'm a little OCD that I have to cut it where it says collection and the other one where it says collection and Sephora. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Beach and I'm gonna use my MAC 286. This is the best, the best, the best, the best blending and crease brush in my opinion. Have I tried all the other brushes like from Wayne Goss, Sonia G, Ruffer? Nope, I don't own any of those yet. But here's what I know from what I own, this MAC brush is amazing and it would be really hard to replace this um, all right, so I'm gonna take this in the crease and then I'm gonna work it up because I have quite a bit of quite a bit of lid space and so that's what we're doing. I'm just gonna take it in the lid 
and blend it up and out. I think what I'll do is I'll end up doing this eye on camera and then I will finish with this eye. I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Suntan now. I'm gonna try to keep the eyeshadow look, like I'm, not, I'm gonna try not to use like a ton of shades. Um, oh my lord. So I'm gonna take Suntan just in the crease. And I do bring it down because I like to blend my colors together. So I'm gonna take it into the crease and just in this outer V portion. So that deepened it up just a little bit. All right, so Man, the lighting is changing. I think we're just gonna do that. Actually, I wanna take that up a little bit. I actually like that color. So I'm gonna take it up a little bit and blend it on top of that other color. <laughs> Why not? I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing. All right, so <clears throat> I think we're gonna keep the eyes like that. I, I'm gonna leave room for my highlight shade, so that's why it looks like that. And then, <clears throat> goodness, I'm going to go in with Magma, which is this one right here. So I'm going to take Magma on the same brush, and I'm just going to put that here in the outer corner, like right up to the crease and the outer corner. And then I'm going to, I'm going to blend it in. Okay, I think I'm gonna take the shade Silk. So that is this one right here, or if you're looking at it like this, it's this one. So I'm gonna take the shade Silk and I'm just gonna take my um, finger and apply that. Holy moly. Oh my lord, I have not used this shade before. Wow. I don't know if you guys can see that here. Let me use this mirror. Okay, can you see that gold? Oh, that gold bronze goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, so I think I think we're going to call this look done. I'm going to... <sighs> Let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to apply my highlight shade. I need to... I don't ever like work like this and then I'm done. I have to like go back and forth, back and forth. So I don't think this look is done, but for now I'm going to apply my highlight shade. I'm going in with Beach and I'm just gonna blend out right here. Just place some Beach. I'm placing some Beach back on my lid because I kind of lost that. I do like my colors to go up pretty high. Again, I have quite a bit of lid space, so I like that. Um, all right, now I'm going to take off my tape for now, just for now. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put some beach on the bottom. I'm gonna use this one brush. I'm just gonna screw it. I'm just gonna use it all together. So just right there. I'm actually gonna go back and build up magma a little bit. I'm 
okay? Let me go ahead and put eyeliner on and um, I'm gonna blend this edge out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and apply eyeliner. <clears throat> oh, no, hold on. Do, 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 do. See, I wish there was a lighter shade that I can put in my inner corner. Silk, I think, is the lightest one. So, let's try alloy. technically use a pencil brush. I don't know why I'm trying to make this complicated. Okay, so I put alloy in my little inner corner here. I do feel, I do feel like, um, I wish there was like a lighter shade, but let's go with that. Let me put eyeliner on and then let me do this eye and I'll be right back. Okay, I wanted to show you guys the look with eyeliner and mascara. I did nothing else. I just applied eyeliner to my waterline, um, both top and bottom, my top lash line. I cleaned up the edge with concealer, like whatever concealer was left on my sponge. So I just did this. I didn't do anything else. So this is the eye look. Pretty complete. I'm gonna go ahead and work on this eye and then I will be back. All right, you guys, I am back with the final look. This eye actually was really, really quick. It didn't take me but I think like two minutes um, once I already knew what shadows I was using. So just really beach and suntan in the crease. I really combined both of them and layered them on top. Took it up pretty high and then I took magma in the outer corner, um, silk in the inner part of my lid and then alloy right here in my inner um, tear duct. So that's the look, that's what we have going on. For eyeliner, I used the Fenty, I think it's called the Fly Liner. And gosh, I don't remember the name. I can't ever remember the name of these things. This one is in Big, well, it's in Big Truffle. That's the name of the shade. I'm actually gonna order two more of these. That's how much I love this eyeliner. So I'm gonna go ahead and place an order, order two of them. For the lips, I used the Milani Lip Liner in 04 All Natural. I love this lip liner as far as like the shade goes. And for lipstick, unfortunately, it's, I'm pretty sure it's discontinued. It is the Ing Inglot and Jennifer Lopez collab, and this is in J217. And then I just applied a little tiny bit of gloss, and it's just the e.l.f. Lip Lacquer. This one is in Mauve Glitz. Um, it doesn't really have like a whole lot of color, so I just applied a little bit just for some shine factor. So that is it. This is the complete look. Let me put my glasses on. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Very, very easy look. Again, this wasn't anything too crazy. It is just a wearable day look. My animals are driving me so crazy. My puppy is doing a little, a little cry. My cat's outside of the door bouncing off the wall and the door. I don't know what he's doing, but they're both driving me crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and let you go, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to check out Gabby's channel and um, stay well and healthy and grateful. And I will see you guys soon in another video. Bye.